Very few machines this side of a Lockheed Martin fighter jet can prepare you for how quickly the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster accelerates. Imagine what it feels like to sit in a transatlantic airliner as it accelerates down the runway. Before takeoff. How you instantly and uncontrollably get pushed back in your seat. Multiply that feeling by two. You're still not quite there yet. The effortless yet brutal acceleration delivered by the V12 engine is something that every car fan needs to experience at least once in his or her life. And it needs to be experienced with your right foot mashing the skinny pedal. Not as a passenger. In Gran Turismo or on YouTube. Power for the Aventador Roadster comes from a XA06. 5 liter 12 cylinder engine tuned to deliver 690 horsepower at 8. 250 revolutions per minute and 507 foot pounds of torque at 5. 500 revolutions per minute. The prodigious amount of grunt is generated by pure displacement. There are no turbos or superchargers hiding anywhere in the engine bay. While Lamborghini CEO Stefan Winkelmann openly told me that turbocharged engines haven't been ruled out for you he hinted that Lamborghini ST shouldn't expect the Aventador to follow the industry's downsizing trend and adopt a turbocharged engine anytime soon. Officially, the 3. 583-pound Aventador Roadster can reach 62 miles per hour from a stop in 2. 9 seconds and go on to a top speed of 217 miles per hour. I didn't verify that last statistic. But the acceleration is so brutally instantaneous that it feels much faster to 62. It goes fast. And it stays fast around corners thanks to a track honed suspension system designed to virtually eliminate body roll and a light, rigid, carbon fiber monocoque. You can take a bend at freeway speeds and not have to worry about ending up with the front end pointed in the wrong direction. You'll likely reach your own limits before you get anywhere close to the Aventadors. Then there's the grip. Power is sent to all four wheels via a 7-speed independent shift rod. ISR. Transmission that can be left in automatic mode or shifted manually with huge paddles and through one of the grippiest all-wheel drive systems I've ever tested. The Aventador feels perfectly planted at all times. Though, admittedly, the massive Pirelli rear tires also play a sizable role in putting power to the ground. All told, the Aventador is a serious machine. Unless your resume includes stints at Mercedes-AMG Petronas or with